ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya ayyuhan nas a'udhu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida min nafsin wahida وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا قال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا ان وقال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم ادير سيك بالز We take in this evening hour to be sacrificed. Me and yourself, I and yourself, we're all on a lengthy journey. And this lengthy journey has got stops. And those stops, wherever we stop, we stop for a while, and Allah then gives us a test. And the test is to see who will still remember the, the rest of their journey. and who suddenly stumble over something because of which they will begin to feel that they have reached the final journey. There is a journey beyond the journey we run at the moment. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he took hold of the shoulder of Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu. And he said, كن في الدنيا كأنك غلط فأنك غريب أو عابر سبيل أو عبد الله أو عبد الله being this world as if you're a traveler one who's going by who's passing by عابر سبيل who's going by a road who's going to cross a road cross it that's what you're here for غريب you're a stranger وعبد الله you're a stranger here Stay in this world as a stranger. Abdullah stay in this world as one who is passing by a road. Nothing more than that. A person who stays in this dunya, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-dunya hulwatun khabira. Al-dunya is sweet, al-dunya is green. Al-dunya is sweet, al-dunya is green. Wallahu mustakhlifukum fiha. Allah is going to put you in charge of part of the dunya. فَيَنْظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ Allah is going to see how you're going to react in those positions. Each and every one of us will gain something. We're going to get, either you get a house, all of us have got houses, you get a business, you get a position, you get a status of an employer or an employee. Or you become a person who studies, you have a brain, you have intelligence, you begin to start to know more than the people around you. Allah is going to give you a station. But with that comes a responsibility and with that comes a test. The test is what will you do? Will you now feel that you have become in charge of yourself? This is the most, this is, this is the reason why most people turn away from Allah Azza wa Jal. Because they feel that they have become in charge of their body, they are in charge of it. They are independent from Allah. They don't need Allah. Why do they need Allah for? Why? They've never seen Allah. They've never really had any contact with Allah. That's what they believe. And Allah almost is absent from their from their minds and from their from their lives. So why do they need Allah? They don't see any. They don't see any reason why Allah. What are they waiting for them? Allah says, "Inna al-insan la yatawa arwaahu sabna." Man and a human being will start to disobey Allah the moment he sees he doesn't need Allah. If you think you don't need Allah, well, 
You go on your own bike. You go on your own, own route. So Allah has said, Inna shakira wa inna kafura. I gave you this life, either you're going to become thankful to me, or you're going to be unthankful to me. فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ Whoever of you wants to be grateful to me, be grateful to me. Whoever wants to be ungrateful to me, be ungrateful to me. And it's not going to make a life different, no. يَا عِبَادِي لَوْ أَنَّ إن تكم لو أن أولكم وآخركم وإن تكم وجنكم كانوا على أفجر قلب رجل واحد منكم ما نقص منك شيئا O oh my servants, if the first of you, the last of you, the human of you, the jinn of you, if all of you became like the worst hearted person amongst yourself, the most crooked person who is living amongst you, the worst of creatures that is amongst you, if all of you turned rotten like that, if all your hearts became rotten like that, from the kingdom that I have, nothing will decrease, nothing will decrease. Ya ibadi, O my servants, law anna awwalakum wa if the first of you, the last of you, if the human amongst you, if the jinn amongst you, كانوا على أدقى قلب رجل واحد منكم. If all of you became like the most pious heart, the heart that is always thinking about me, always aware of me, always thinking of me. If all of you in the whole world changed like that, ما زاد. Nothing in, my, nothing in my kingdom will increase. Nothing will increase in my kingdom. Ya ibadi, O my servants, Law anna awwalakum ma akhirakum If the first of you, the last of you, wa insakum ma jinnakum If all the human amongst you, if all the jinn amongst you, Qamu ala sa'idin wahid If all of you came and you climbed the hill, if you came to a high place and all of you gathered together, all the people from Adam alayhi salam till the last person on the day of judgment, all the jinn that were created from before them until the day of judgment. If all of you stood up on one platform and all of you were to ask me, Kullu ahadin mas'alata, every single one said, Oh Allah, give me this, Oh Allah, give me that, Oh Allah, give me this. Aafaytu kulla wahidin minkum, I'd be able to give every single one of you everything you ask for. But after that, nothing from my kingdom would ever decrease. Even to the amount if you were to take a single needle and you put the needle in an ocean, the little drop that comes out, not even that much would decrease in my kingdom. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is not in need of me and you, brothers. We have need of Allah. Allah doesn't need me and you, we need Allah, we need Allah. Without Allah, this path is lost. Without Allah, life is lost. Without Allah, akhirah is lost. Allah says, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَفْظِ There are those of my servants who worship me when they're on an edge. They're on an edge when they worship me. When they need me, they come to me. When they don't need me, they don't come to me. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَفْظِ فَإِنْ أَصَابَهُ خَيْرٌ اِطْمَأَنَّ بِهِ They receive a good thing I give to them and after that he is content with the good that he got. He wanted a job, I gave him a job, then he is content with his job. I don't need Allah anymore. That's what his, that was his action say. He wanted me to make him pass his exams. I made him pass his exams and slowly, slowly, he forgets who I am. He doesn't come to me anymore. He wanted me to make him, make him have himself be cured and make him a person who doesn't need to go to hospital frequently. So I did that for him and once I did that for him, then he doesn't come back to me. Allah, what does Allah say? فَإِنَ صَابَهُ خَيْرُ نِفْمَ أَنَّذِهِ Once he has gone away from me, he has forgotten me, fine. But I can't get the action of this. وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ فِتْنَةٌ إِنْ قَلَبَ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ 
Once he's afflicted with something, then he falls on his slave face and he rolls on his slave face and he comes back to me. Allah says, Inqadaba ala waji. Human doesn't just come to Allah. Inqadaba ala waji. If he had to, he will fall over for me. If he had to, he will kick his nose on the ground for me. Khafir al-dunya wal-akhirah. He has left the world, he has left the next life. He comes to me when he needs me and he goes away again. I give him something, then he goes back again. He wants me, then he comes back to me. He doesn't need me, he goes away from me. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ Don't become like those people who have forgotten Allah. And Allah has made, made them forget themselves. If we forget Allah, Allah will make the person forget himself, his purpose on his life. Allah will make him forget that. The one who remembers Allah, Allah says what? Tadkuruni azkurkum. Remember me and I will remember you. You remember me, I will remember you. Man zakarani fi nafsi. Zakartuhu fi nafsi. Whosoever remembers me in his mind, I remember him in my existence is Hadith of Sahih Bukhari. Whosoever remembers me in his mind, I remember him in my being, in my existence. وَمَنْ ذَكَرَنِي فِيهِ مَلَئِنْ ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي مَلَئِنْ خَيْرٍ مِّنْ Whosoever will remember me in a gathering, I will remember him in a gathering greater than that gathering, the gathering of the angels. I will remember him in a gathering, a gathering greater than that. وَمَنْ تَقَدَّمَ إِلَيَّ شِبْرًا تَقَدَّمْتُ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَانًا Whoever will come to me once on length, I will come to him one on length. وَمَنْ تَقَدَّمَ إِلَيَّ ذِرَانًا تَقَدَّمْتُ إِلَيْهِ بَاعًا Whoever comes to me one on length, I will come to him two on length. وَمَنْ مَشَاء إِلَيَّ أَتَيْتُهُ حَرْوَلًا Whosoever would walk to me, I will come running to him. Is Allah. Whosoever will come walking to me, I will come running to him. Brothers, to know Allah, to know Allah, and to be in contact with Allah, Allah does not need me and you. Allah does not need me and you. Even if I was to stay in sujood all night long, and even if I was to worship him all day long, and fast all day long, Allah does not need that. He doesn't need to feed himself with that. He doesn't need to expand his dignity with that. No. With Allah already is Azim. He's got all the dignity. To Allah belongs all dignity, to Allah belongs all power, to Allah belongs all dignity, and to the messengers belong all dignity, and to the true believers belong dignity. But the munafiq, those who have hypocrisy, hypocrisy inside them, they do not know. They do not know this. Now you're going to say, how is, that, how is dignity for Allah? Hey? How is dignity for Allah? Here we see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in Ba'la Ruhud, he's got blood. Here we see the Sahaba, they're fighting, they've got no food. How is dignity for Allah? Allah says what? وَلِلَّهِ عَاقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ Don't judge me by what's going on right now. Don't judge me by what, but by what you've seen before. No, no. وَلِلَّهِ عَاقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ Judge me by the final ending. Judge me by that which comes at the end. Allah says what? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَمْحَقُونَ those who are sinners, they looked at the believers and they laughed at them. وَإِذَا مَغْرُوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ And when they passed by them, they looked at them and they winked at each other. Mullah. Mullah. Huh? Bearded guy. Bukhrillahan. Garilakri. Huh? He looks like he lowered himself down. Huh? Lowered himself down. So they wink at each other. Look at him. Hot day. Where is the turban on his head? Has he got the bandage on his head? What has he got on his head? He's got like a dress like a woman. Huh? Dressed like a woman. I bet when he eats, then his beard gets 
all sort of curry all over it, huh? All these things. A sister with the hijab, she looks oppressed. Something down wrong with them. وَإِذَا مَرْضُوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ وَإِذَا مَقَلَضُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ قَلَضُوا فَكِهِينَ When they came back to their, to their own family, they came back all joyful, all, all happy. Then Allah says in the same surah, فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَبْحَكُونَ Today on the day of judgment, now the believers are reclining on cushions, they're looking at the kuffar, they're looking at those who disbelieved in this message, they're looking at the ones who laughed at them, they're looking at the sinners on the day of judgment. Allah defeats that time on the day of judgment. فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَبْحَقُونَ عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ Allah will give them cushions that will be flying in the air. Allah will give them cushions that will be floating in the air. Upon those cushions they will be sitting and reclining and looking down at the people who laughed at them. And they will laugh back at them. فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَبْحَقُونَ Today the laugh is on them. عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ On these cushions they are reclining and watching what's happened to them. The torture that will surround them. هَلْ ثُوِّيْوَ الْكُفَّارُ مَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ have those who were ungrateful to me, have they received the Jew? Have they received it? Allah has what? Allah's dignity is Allah's dignity is in the end, end, my friend, not now. Today, my brother, Allah has given you a lot of stuff. What has He given you? He's given you a nice body. MashaAllah, very nice, strong body. Yeah, strong body. You can do what you want. You can run two miles, one go, four miles, one go, Allah. Yeah. You can lift weights. Show your mates. How much you, you got inside? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You can go run uphill, you can jump over things. Yeah, you've got an agile body. You play football three times a week and still want more. Alhamdulillah, I'm giving you a good body. Yeah, good body. Someone kicks on you out there, one thump and he's down. Don't need a second one. One thump is down. You think, yeah. You've got, the, you've got the might, you've got the power. Allah's like giving you that might, Allah's like giving you that power. Allah Azzawajal says, He says, um, aqiba, aqiba. Don't think about today. Allah says, think about tomorrow. Allahu alladhi khalaqakum min dhufin. O man, I created you and today you've got all these muscles. Today you've got an intelligence that you start questioning my existence. Today you've got an intelligence that you start arguing with your mother. Today you have such a brain and such a tongue that you raise it in front of your father. Today you had that but I saw you too, yes, I saw you yesterday. When you were a little baby, you didn't even have the power to come out of your mother's womb. You didn't even have the strength to push yourself out of the mother's womb. I pushed you out of your mother's womb. I brought you alive, you had no power to breathe. I gave you the power to breathe. I gave you the hearing, Wal-Absara, I gave you the sight you couldn't see without me. wal I gave you a mind to think, without that mind you couldn't have got this intelligence. Wallahu khalaqakum wa ma ta'amaloon. I created you and I gave you, the, I gave you the ability to do your actions and movements. The movements of your hands, where did they come from? Allah, where did the movement, where, how did you know? Move this and touch this and feeling and know and then today you're jumping up and down, huh? Today you're jumping up and down, you've got all that. In Dauphin, I created you at a time, you didn't know wa allamakum ma lam takunu ta'lamun. I taught you the things that you did not know. You didn't know ABC, you didn't know any maps. You didn't know anything. Today you read. Today you think you're clever, today you think you're intelligent. وَعَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ I gave you all of that. When you came to the earth, you had no protection. I gave you the protection. وَلِتُسْنَعَ عَلَىٰ عَيْنِي You were fed, you were brought up in front of my eye. I gave you all of that. I gave you parents, I gave you the luxury. You had no power to eat that, I gave you the power to start eating. You ate my food every day, you drank the water I gave you every day, you took the clothes I gave you every day. You had the shelter to grow up to 20 years old, to grow up to 18 years old. And after 18, the man says, Quran, Quran, Allah says what? 
وَنَهَا بِجَانِبِهِ Today you walk with swinging your sides. Ah, it's in the Quran. Today you walk how? Swinging your sides. Swing it. Mm. You got all the muscles in your body. Allah fed you nice. Allah gave you nice water. Allah made you strong. Allah gave you nice legs. Yeah. Allah gave you the ability to grow up and not to back. Allah says, Allah الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ دُوْفٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ after all the weakness that I gave you, today I gave you the strength. The strength you live on is my strength. I gave you that. No strength do you have to stay away from harm. No strength do you have to walk and to do what you want, except with my power. وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ if I will that you wouldn't dare open your mouth, I could make you dumb right now. If I will that I take your eyesight away, وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَطَمَسْنَا عَلَىٰ أَعْيُنِهِمْ فَاسْتَبَقُوا الصِّرَاطَ فَأَنَّا يُبْصِرُونَ You walk on my ground, you look around and then you question me. You question my existence. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But Allah says what? Allah reminds us. فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ where are you going, old man? Where are you going with all of this? Why? Because Allah الذي خلقكم من ضعفين I created you from weakness ثم جعل من بعد ضعفين قوة then after the weakness I gave you strength ثم جعل من بعد قوة ضعفا وشيبة then after that strength comes weakness again after that strength comes a weakness after that وشيبة and white beard white hair old age if any of these old men wanted to walk down that street, run! Could they do that? No. Could they do that? Come on guys, could they do that? No, 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 no they can't do that. But you never going to become old, are you? Guys, young boys, eh? Young boys, you're never going to become old, don't worry about it. You're going to stay like this, hot ka ta ka Yeah? You're going to stay really nice and strong. You're always going to have a nice digestive system. Your muscles are never going to replenish. You're going to have no problems with your skin, no problems with your eyesight. Yeah, you won't ever have to have problems with the eyesight. When you get 70 years old, you'll be able to run the marathon. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're going to lift like 50 kg if you want you to lift your bench press. At 70 years old. Now you know that's not going to happen, so Allah said. Then comes the weakness after the strength I gave you. Oh man, what will you do with that strength? This strength I've given you is a test for you. This strength I've given you is a test for you. Inna samaa wal basara wal fu'ada kullu ulaika kana anhu mas'oola The eyes I gave you, the ears I gave you, the mind I gave you, all of this will come back to me. And all of it is going to be a question. What did you do with the gifts I gave you? What did, I, what did you do with the gifts I gave you? Huh? You think you're walking on this ground, you can do what you want? Allah says, okay. Whatever the case. Allah says, what Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, The rivalry that you've got with your friends, the rivalry of having more than them, the rivalry of having more clothes than your friends. The rivalry of having expensive clothes than your friends. The rivalry of showing off your jeans that you've got to your friends. The rivalry of showing off the clothes and the, the cars that you've got, the phones you've got. That rivalry. The rivalry that you've got, it makes you forget about your real purpose of this life. It makes you forget. Until you come and you visit the grave, when you come inside the grave, when the soil is above you, when they buried you inside, when they put you inside the soil, when your hands are not moving anymore, those muscles are not twitching anymore. Ah. Those muscles, they're not twitching anymore. Those biceps are very, very calm today. The ribs are not moving, that person can't swing his shoulders anymore. He can't move his hips anymore. Yesterday he wanted to show half his pants. Yesterday he wanted to show half his pants. He's a bad boy. Yeah. So advertise something. You know, he's like a bad boy. I'm going to break the rule. That's why they show half the pants. So I'm going to break the rule. Everyone wearing trousers, cover the pants. I'm going to show half my pants. 
Yeah, because I'm breaking the rules. I'm different. I'm different. Everyone's going to just do their hairstyle like I'm going to be different. I'm going to cut my eyebrow here, cut my eyebrow there. Because I'm going to be different. When I'm different, everyone's going to look at me. Everyone's got, everyone's decent and they're not playing the music loudly. No, I'm going to play my music loudly. Everyone better know who I am. My name's Sam. My name's Sam. And when I come out, yeah, when I come out, all the whole street is going to know I'm out. I want to bust. You know, they hold the, all the pavement, you know, the pavement slabs, they're going to be jumping up and down when my car goes past it. Yeah? That's who I am. I'm Sam on the street. Yeah? He's who? His name is what? His name is what? His name was Abdul Samir. His name was Samir Allah. Allah, his father gave him a name, Abdul Samir, which is the servant of the one who listens. The servant of the one who listens. And he called him Sam. I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you are Abdul Samir, my friend, you are slave of the Samir. He's listening to you. He's listening to you. So everyone might know who I am. Huh? I'm around and I'm going to have the windows down. And then I'm going to have a t-shirt on. So I'm going to have a cock company, man. What would a company for? I work every week, man, in the gym. I'm, I'm pumping on my muscles. I'm going to advertise my muscles. Yeah, all the girls are going to see me. When they see me, I'm going to be rolling. When I roll with my music on, they're going to think, ah, that's the big man. Allah says, Inna qaruna kana umuk, inna qarun, fakharaja ala qawmihi fi zinati. Qarun, qarun, Allah gave a lot of wealth to me. Qarun, Allah gave a lot of wealth to me. What is qarun? Qarun was, was so wealthy, so wealthy. لَا تَنُوُوُ بِالْعُصْدَةِ أُلِي الْقُوَةِ A whole bunch of strong men. You know you have, sometimes they have bodyguards. You know you have bodyguards, yeah? When a man gets a lot of money, he has a whole few bodyguards around him. <laughs> so this guy, he had bodyguards, fine, but he had given, he had 10 employees for one job, one specific job. Imagine how rich this guy is and how much of a sharp he is. He's a big time shop. He's got his bodyguards no more, he's got his soldiers, he's got his, you know, uh, he's got his, you know, you name it, he's got, he's got a whole empire around him. And then he hired ten men to walk around wherever he went, just an inch man was carrying a whole bunch over their shoulders, in their hands, in their pockets, all around them was just keys, keys and keys and keys and keys. All these keys were the keys of Qarun. He advertised how many treasure boxes he's got. He advertised how bad he was, how many gold coins, how many silver coins, because you just looked at the keys and you thought, Bambare Baba, you were talking about the Allah, don't this one the bad. You don't know what the man's going to do to you if you pick on him. That's what they do. They want to come out, they want to show to you because all these guys do is have the cards. They're not going to just come out of the cards, they're going to put a ring there, another ring there, another ring there, and then a bracelet there. Then it's not enough. They want to have a watch there, a Rolex watch there, right? Then the chain, the chain, the chain, the chain, right? And when he's got no space, he's going to stick one on his ear. <laughs> Man is running out of space. If he really get, if he really get stuck, he's gonna stick one on his tongue, <laughs> on his lip. Why? Right? Because they want to show that bad boy. So then Harun wants to show his bad boy. So what is Harun? Harun had ten men around him, and they all had his keys. Whatever he went, he saw ten men full of keys, top to bottom with keys. And Harun would say, "Oh, you open this treasure, open this box, go over there, do this." He had an empire. One day Karun wanted to come out and he wanted to show all his town who the big man is. So Karun called, he called together his closest one day and he said to him, show me my best clothes. I want to wear a clothes today, clothing today. Everyone's going to look at that and they're going to think, wow, this guy is loaded. You know, this guy stinks of money. This guy is the richest bad man ever to walk on this earth. So they showed him one clothing, they showed him another one. He said, no, not this one. He said, hey, what are you showing me? Not this one, not this one, not this one. 
about 400 sets they showed him. After about the 400 sets of clothing, he said, yeah, that one, yeah, that one. So he put that one on. Yeah, this clothing you couldn't buy in the marketplace. Then he said, show me my horses. You know the way some guy might say, you might have, you know, 12 cars, 15 cars, 20 cars, sometimes, you know, these guys, you know, there are some rich Arabs, when they come to buy a car, they don't come to buy one Lexus. They say, give me that Lexus, but give me in each color you have. They give me 12 Lexuses, all 12 Lexuses with 12 different colors. White, black, blue, yellow, red, whatever color it is, they give me all 12 colors in that. That's how they buy it. So Qarun, when he went to shop, he didn't buy one horse, he bought the whole lot. It was the best out of the whole lot. So Qarun, that day, said, show me my horses. So they showed him his horses. Not this one, this is another. He chose one horse, and that horse, what they did, they decorated the horse with, with his treasures as well. The horse from the nose, all the way down his face, and all the way down his back, was covered with all the jewels. And then, Karu with the best of his clothes, and laden with jewels, and you, know, you can imagine, he's probably got rubies and other things on his clothing, and he gets on his horse, and then he tells his men to march with all his treasures. He said, I still get out of the house. I still get the guys get everything out. So those men went with their keys and they bought everything out, all the treasures. And they laid in all the treasures onto the horses and onto the carts and everything. And man, this was showtime. Man, come on, it's only showtime. So he announced beforehand, I'm going to come out, I'm going to show you how much treasures I've got. So all his men, hundreds of them, piled up in front of him, behind him. So he's in the middle. And he comes out. Today he has come out and he has come out in his luxury. He has come out with his prestige time. He has come out to show off all the goods that he's got. Who gave these things to him? He doesn't realize, I Allah, I was the one who gave him all of this. Today he uses this to try and deny me, to try and forget me, to try and move away from me. He does this, okay? Come out, come out. So Khan comes out. And when he marches, People from all sides are all gathered. They all go, hey, hey, hey. You know, like sometimes you have the queen coming out, the whole town comes together, yeah? But it's not the queen. If the queen came out with her diamonds and all the pearls and all, all the things they stole from India, yeah? If the queen came out, all the Indians would be there. I'm about to but finish with that. But anyway, this is basically Kharun who comes with all of his things. And everyone, the whole city wants to come and see what is this man got. Today he's going to show off all his, all his, you know, diamonds, gold, rubies, sapphire, whatever Allah gave him. He's going to show that off. So he came. Yahweh let they, they said, the people who saw them said, لَوْ كَانَ مِلَنَا مِثْلَ قَارُونَ If only we had the same money as Qarun. Ah, people looked. They said, if only we had the same amount as Qarun has got. If we had that, oh, 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 that would have been different. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُ لَعِنَّ وَيْلَكُمْ ثَوَابُ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لِمَنْ آمَنَ وَعَذِنَ صَالِحًا Those who had been given knowledge, those who were the knowledge of the ones, they said, no, 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 what Allah, what Allah has got for us in the Akhirah is better than what this man has got. وَإِلَكُمْ ثَوَابُ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لِمَنْ آمَنَ وَعَمِنَ صَالِحًا The one who believes in Allah, the one who has done good deeds, that is going to be better than whatever Qarun has got today. So Qarun is marching and they're cheering, hey, 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 hey. You know, they're doing the cheer, you know, like, Qarun, 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 yeah. And everything, oh, 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 the man is hurt, he is holding. <laughs> And he got to the best time. They're all looking at him and thinking, ha, huh? oh, there's not a bigger man than me in this town. In this world, in this city, anywhere, who's got more than me? When he got to the middle part of the parade he's going to do, and the cheering got to the best stage, not for cheering from the believers. So the believers, they looked at it, they did it wrong. But the people who were after the dunya, after the world, they said, yeah, oh yeah, Karun, and you know what they do with big men? Sometimes they get gold coins and they throw it to the crowd, they throw it to the crowd. But whatever he was doing, the crowds were jeering and jeering up. He got to the center of his parade, to the peak of his moment. 
فخففنا به وبداره الأرض I Allah, I open the earth beneath him, I shook the ground, I told the angels, oh angels, whose earth is it on? Whose earth is it on? Whose earth is it on? Allah's earth. Allah's earth. Inna al-arda lillah. The earth is Allah, you walk on this earth, Allah's earth. Huwa al-lazhi jawala lakum al-arda galura min fanshu fi manaki biha. I make the earth humble for you. So I'm asking me to walk humbly on the earth. وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ حَوْنَا Those who are the servants of the Rahman, they walk on the earth, they walk humbly on the earth. This earth is going to testify against me on the day of judgment. This earth will say, oh Allah, he did sujood on me. This earth is going to say, Oh Allah, I watched him while he did that action on me. So you walk humbly on Allah's earth. Allah says, فَخَفَفْنَا بِهِ وَبِدَارِهِ الْأَرْضِ Suddenly I made the whole earth split up. I made a landslide. I caused the earth to open and then all his men, Qarun in the middle of his parade, with all his treasures, with all his bounties, with all his gold and silver, with all of his diamonds and rubies, with all of his horses, with all of his clothes, with all of his fashionable items, with all of his men, with all the keys, with all the treasures, with all the boxes that he came out with everything, I took it into the ground and then I made the whole ground close up again. Finished. Finished. Fala. Finished. When that happened, Allah said, فَمَا كَانَ لَهُ مِنْ فِئَةٍ يَنْصُرُونَهُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Who was there to save Qaru? None of his men could save him from myself. None of them could come to his avail. None of them could protect him against me. When I come to take somebody, even that's it, he's gone. Now what happens here? The man comes out with his BMW. Leather seats. Alloys. Boom, 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 boom. The whole street has to shake when he's going past. Advertise, advertise. Advertise for advertise. I'm here, you see. I'm an Amsam. You see. I'm here, guys. Remember, I'm here. So he goes. Allah then one day, what does he do with this guy? Allah takes them to, a, to the A406. Allah takes them to the A1. Allah takes them to the M1. Allah takes them to the street. And they see another bad boy like that. That bad boy, he's got He's got a Merc or he's got something else, he's got some collections, or he's got Audi. Now Audi is called a BMW. He gave us the Arugure, he gave us all the Udi Hat, the Hat, the Hat of the Udi Hat. Now two bulls, when two bulls see each other, they go. One bull wants to fire with another bull. They hear, they're going to say, they're going to say, they're going to say, He's basically revving his car up, revving his car up at the traffic lights. It's like, you bad boy or me bad boy? Let's see who's bad boy today. Yeah? Like the two bulls want to like kill each other. That's how he wants to race his car. Automatically, they automatically. You don't even have to say, I'm not get the start. You don't have to say that. You don't even have to say, hey guys, you've got a BMW, you've got Audi. Would you like to race his car? You don't have to say The moment he sees it, like, who's, got, who's, gonna rip, who's gonna rip the tires? Who's gonna, who's gonna burn fast? Who's gonna get to 80 miles, 90 miles, 100 miles an hour? Just like that. So then they go off. And they skid off. Yeah? Zoom off into the distance. And wow, what a race. These two guys are going, in cars and going like that. And all of a sudden, what happens is Allah, the Vijayal is watching from above. Hey, Sam, hey, Sam, hey, Vata. So the kid give me that. Yeah? We'll get you all of that. All it takes for Allah to do is one small wrong turn that I think. Both cars, boom. Finish. Finish. BMW finish, Audi finish. Both of them turned over, gone. Either critical condition in hospital or the six foot down. Finish. What happened? Boom boom hoy. Where were that? Boom boom hoy. Where is the sound gone now? His heartbeat has stopped. His whole body has gone cold. He goes six foot down. That's it, finished. So many youngsters, so many youngsters, have gone to mad life. For one reason or another, finished. Some guy gets into drugs. He first started with small drugs. 
Offerta per un fertico di shisha ba. La shisha? Chi ti dice shisha? Non la... Ma non la sta mostrando shisha! Ma non la sta mostrando shisha! Ma non è che è ba, non è che è... Non è che è... Non è shisha, se è come se è shisha. In shisha, guarda che è un detto shaitan che dite. You know, shaitan? Shaitan is not always invisible. The one who gave you cigarette, the one I'm showing time, his name is devil. The one who gave you cigarette after shisha, to so take a cigarette. The one who gave you cannabis, the one who gave you weed, the one who gave you skunk, and said, you want to make this stick like a skunk? Take this. <laughs> and he takes it. Why? Because if he doesn't take it now, he's under pressure. There's a crowd, the crowd is such, if he doesn't take it, he's under pressure. He's not going to be able to stay with the crowd. The crowd is such that you've got to break the rule. You've got to be somebody who's bad boy. Put a tattoo here, you look bad, that's it. Now our crew, we're going to put a tattoo in the same place. We know that the popular boys, or the Stephanie boys, or little boys, mad boys. Because you've got the muscles, haven't you? Got the muscles, man. I don't know who gave you the muscles, but I've got muscles. <laughs> So then in the crowd, the, the, the pressure is what the pressure is, you better take it. And if it doesn't take it, you say, hey, you chicken or something? What's the matter with you, man? You must stay with us. Go take it, man, take it. Hey, but you say, took it in his hand. So I say, how many of you are not going to go with your hand? Oh, one, two. You know, have you lived long enough amongst the monks of Bumbuli that you understand Bumbuli? No, you haven't. Well, stay long with them. <laughs> They'll give you a bit of palm as well. Yeah. And you'll convert you. Yeah. You have palm, yeah? So you're half converted. <laughs> no problem. I'll mix it, mix out. So what happens is, he takes. He takes it. Once he takes it, he has it once, he feels high. He feels floating. He says, yeah. Your life is just started, man. Oh, when he has the bug, he wants it again, and again, and again. And what happens is he doesn't realize what's happening to him. After a little while, some guys, the food doesn't taste the same anymore. Some guys, the, you know the system downstairs here, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know Allah's got one law. His law is, if you find sweetness in haram, Allah will take away your sweetness. Sweetness from halal. That is Allah's law. Remember that. If you take haram food in here, Allah will make the halal food not taste no nice. If you stay with a haram woman, Allah will not make nikah which is halal likable to you. We say, what do I need to do with that food? Haram? I go haram way? Yeah, I get this girl today, dump her tomorrow. Next girl, stay with her four days, like her, keep her. Don't like her, dump her. <laughs> Why? I get it? Oh my God, I can't get rid of it now. Why is she stuck in your tail? I can't get rid of it. If I get rid of it, her dad comes, her mom, he says, my whole, my whole, everybody's out. Oh my God, I come home, she gives me lecture. My girlfriend, I enjoy myself, and she enjoys. When it comes to me, want to give my space, I say, look, you go your way, I go my way. Then you want to get back together, you get back together again. Huh? Girlfriend is easy, cheap. Girlfriend is cheap. Girlfriend, I, I can basically boom boom in half shake you on the back. You know as many times as I want. After that, if she ever gets pregnant, I'll decide. If I don't want it, I'll just say, look, sorry, I'll say, change my number, change my email, change everything, I'll just dump her. So the guy says, why do I need to get married for? He found sweetness in halal. Allah has taken away sweetness in halal. The guy who looks at pornography, he looks at it, he looks at it, then he looks at his beautiful wife, and his beautiful wife is no longer beautiful anymore. Because he's pulled his eyes. He found sweetness in haram, Allah took away sweetness in halal. Allah gave halal food in halal stomach. You take halal food in here, digestive system works very good. Those people who went on drugs, their digestive system gets messed up. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Gets messed up. Allah gave automatic system. Wake up in the morning, you have breakfast after that, number two comes automatically. <laughs> number one, number two automatically. You be either a night person or a morning person. Some, for some people night time number two, some people morning time number two. You're either one of the two. Yeah? You've got to let it out, bro. If you don't let it out, you're dead. 
Come on, man, you can't keep it inside. So then he has got very well with the messes up. He won't say, yes, he has got to keep it inside. He has got to keep it inside. He has got to keep it inside. Then the only way he takes it out is what? He has to have another one. To have found sweetness in halal, Allah took away sweetness in halal. If you don't want to put halal inside that stomach, fine, no problem. Put haram. You will need haram for that stomach. But he viewed himself, he damaged himself. Then what happens after that? He had a nice relationship with all these people. He goes into, he goes into the drug life. What happens? He has one friend after another friend after another friend. They're all druggies. So one is selling to this one, to selling to that one, selling to Come on, man. You got some man. Give me something, man. Come on. Come on, give me something. Let me. I need it, man. I need it. Allah makes him zadeed, makes him disgraceful. Why? Because now for five pounds, for ten pounds, he loses his dignity. He starts stealing. He starts lying. He starts breaking promises. Just for two grams. Just for 0 0.2 grams. He starts stealing, lying, going after people, mugging. Why? Because he found sweetness in haram. Allah, okay, you want to buy that way, sir? Yes, I'll give you one. No, no. ولا تنس ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم They will become like those people who have forgotten Allah and Allah makes them forget themselves He's forgotten himself He's totally forgotten himself He came to this world for what? Allah gave him the muscles, Allah gave him the brain, Allah gave him the seeing, Allah gave him the hearing so that he could get close to Allah and with that what did he do? He started to become himself I, I, I am power I've got it all. So he sees himself that I am the focus. I know it all. I can do it all. Ha! Huh. If I basically sell 200 pounds of drugs, I make 400 pounds. If I sell 400 pounds, I make 800 pounds. And if I sell 800, oh my God, I'm on 2,000 pounds. The guy is thinking, what is it? The next minute he knows, he's going to basically get his BMW. BMW, 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 BMW. BMW. <laughs> That's what it might have. If you use the zikr of Allah, Allah will give you different zikr. Everyone is in zikr, brothers. Everybody is in zikr. Everybody. Some guys, the zikr is money, 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 money. Some guys, the zikr is what? Business, 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 business. Some woman has zikr is what? Shopping, 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 shopping. Some other guy, what's the zikr? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Take the face and face and put the trick, the trick, the trick, the trick, the trick. All the time, take the phone up. Do it. What's he talking about? He's talking about a lot of rubbish. You know what he's talking about? First time to get out, yeah? What time did he wake up? I walk about eight foot in. What did he have for breakfast? Oh, yeah. I had. I had in the morning, crunch it up. Yeah. What are you going to go at? What's all this? He's going to go at WhatsApp, 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 WhatsApp. All day, all day, phone, phone, iPhone, 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 iPhone. Blackberry, 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 Blackberry. That's all going to go. Whoever, wherever you are, you're in Either you say, Subhanallah, 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 Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah, 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 Allah. You just say, Dunya, 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 Dunya. Whichever one, you're in Zikr, my friend. You're in Zikr. Everybody's in Zikr. When you wait, you're in Zikr. You can be thinking about something. It's up to you which one you go. But if you go into the other zikr, if you go dunya, if you're instructed to dunya, Allah Azza wa Jalla, He says in the Hadith Khutsi in Sahih Bukhari. Yabna Adam, O son of Adam, tabarrah li ibadati, become free for my worship. Become free to worship me. Allah sadraka bina, I will fill your heart with richness. You will become independent, you will, you will loosen yourself from the shackles of the dunya. You will free yourself from worshipping the shaitan. You will free yourself from serving the shaitan, serving the devil. You will free yourself from all these other people who have got themselves in things of this dunya. They have lost themselves, I will not do that to you. I will make your heart be independent from them. You come to me and you, you are dependent on me. I will make everything else independent from you. You start to become independent from me. I will make everything else dependent on you. This is Allah. Allah word. Amma sabra wa asuddu faqrat. O son of Adam, 
You become free to serve me, I will stop all the doors of poverty over you, I will close all doors that are needs and necessities. You will be a free man, you will be able to worship me, choose between me, choose between the dunya. The dunya will not make you a slave of itself, the dunya will not handcuff you, the dunya will not make you be in chains. I, I, you come to me, I will look after you, alayhi Allah bi kafin abda. I, Allah, am I not enough for you, as a Lord? Am I not enough for my servant? You come to me, I'll free you. Wa inna, O son of Adam, if you don't come to me, and if you don't worship me, and if you don't be free to worship me, I'm malatu yadayka shukla, then I will fill your hands so much by being occupied, that you won't even have time for yourself. You'll be so occupied, you'll be so occupied, from morning till evening you'll be running around, you'll be doing things, but nothing will be over available. From morning till evening you'll be indulged in technology, with your friends and going out and seeing people and sniffing things up your nose and doing damage to yourself, but nothing will come out of it, nothing will come out of it. Damaging yourself, nothing will happen. You're busy, you guys busy. Man, I'm busy, man, I'm busy, I'm busy. What are you busy with? Now my God, go, 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 what do you mean? I'm sick, come on, man. I'm sick, man. Nah, 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 my wheels, man, my wheels. They need some cleaning, man. The guy fell so badly in love with his car. Go shy there, go shy there, man, day, day, man, day, day, good. He was in such a shame. The guy doesn't have as much bar for his body as much as he washes his BMW and his car. I've seen the guy, look at this obsession. You know, there's more rains. The mother goes, la 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 la, and it's ridiculous, you know, he runs out, he cleans with his car again. He can turn one in the water, my son. No, 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 no. Come here, don't think about it. You know, his child is a fool, he's not going to be clean, man. His car is going to be clean, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the bad boy. If he doesn't have his car, it's not clean, people are not going to rake him anymore on the street. He's going to, he's going to wash. What they do is, they wash it, then they dry it, then they have his spray and polish and all that, everything. Then Allah makes you rain again. I think that way. Allah. Come on, wash your car once a month, once every two weeks, that's fine. Every day, giving him a shower every day, just like, oh, you should jump in the bath, he said, you smell of stunk. <laughs> you should jump yourself in the bath and give yourself, you know, wash your mouth and brush it properly with whatever he's got, because, you know, it smells when you, when you have drugs, when you have other things. But anyway, the guy, he wants, because when you have love for these things, hold on, hold on, how can I make you occupied with things that are not even useful for you? Malatu yadayi kashogala, I will fill your hands with occupants. You will be very, very busy indeed. You don't have time for me, you won't have time for anyone else. No, but you won't even have time for yourself. While I'm as a dufakarat, I will never close the doors of poverty on you. You will always be in need, you will always be in need. Your bills will never finish, you will never be content, you will never be able to come to them. You know what he said? Like a 2,000 pounds? Yeah, 4,000, oh my God, oh, 4,000 pounds. I'll buy my next set, then I'll buy five. See, oh, 25,000 pounds, 25,000 pounds. I'll get my first flat. Yeah, once I get 25,000 pounds, 100,000 pounds, invest in my first house. Then properties, then another car, this car, and you think like that. But, huh, Allah said, well, I'm you're not serving me, you're not going to get anywhere. All that's going to fall. All that's going to fall down. Why? Because the guy is in the wrong place. What will happen? Automatically, Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu inna mal khamru wal maysiru wa la nusabu wal azlamu rijsun min amal shaytan. Oh, you who believe you are dealing with intoxicants, you are dealing with drugs, you are dealing with gambling, you are dealing with things that I've told you not to do. Ridzum min amri shaytan, the filth of the filthy work of the shaytan. Fajtani who who stay away from it, you will be successful. Don't stay away from it, you will be unsuccessful. Even successful. Inna ma yuridu shaytan wa an yuqi'a baynakum ul adawata wal baghda. The shaitan through, through drugs, the shaitan through wine and alcohol. The shaitan through gambling will make you hate one another. You'll be able to make you fight one another. Tell me this double. Wherever you go, these guys who are drugs and drugs, do you think that they are able to be in a way that they know? Do you think the guy takes drugs and comes in? Assalamu alaikum How are you, brother? Are you okay, brother? You alright? Yeah? Are you okay? Do you think drugs will do that, brother? Do you think they're always looking after all of that? 
Can I, can I look after you? Can I be good to you, nice to you? If one of them is ill, oh man, you are right, man. We should get better. If one of them needs something, oh, I'm here for you. No, no, no. Every other word, what they do is they have to add some swear words. If they don't add, even the ones who are not taking God, the thing is, if the, if the bad pollution comes to them, they have to take, they have to say some kind of swear word. If he doesn't say swear word, then he's not going to be rated, he's not going to be rated, you know, high with his, with, with his attitude. They want to know that he's a bad person. So every other word, every other word that, yeah, my acting this yeah, yeah, stop, stop, acting bus. <laughs> the acting bus, I got on the acting bus and then they are the acting seat and then after that the acting guy came right next to me. Okay. Now after that I walked up, looked at it, and I thought to my well, I'm getting off this acting bus on the acting pavement and to walk down there and to this acting house. Uh -huh. What's the point of you swearing so many acts inside the wife? Because if he doesn't do that, then he's not waiting back. There's not this pressure on, by, on him, he has, to, he has to go by the pressure. When he goes by the pressure, then what happens after that? He goes inside there, then he goes in the crowd, and after that, the crowd is such that the crowd are always trying to cut each other. They're trying to rip each other off. They're trying to get the best deal for themselves. They're trying to become, trying, everybody wants to be the big man. Everybody wants to show that I'm, I'm the guy with the toughest. After a little while, they say, hey, is Sammy the guy who's the toughest out of that group or is he Abzi? Which one is he? I think he's the Abzi. She knew some shaitan who said, I think he's Abzi. Some other shaitan said, I think he's Sammy. Nah, man, he's Abzi, man. I love Abzi, man. Nah, he could like punch somebody. No. Well, and you, you, you know, Sammy, you don't need to punch someone. He just looks at them and they're on the wrong. Karakarar, karakarar, you know, Allah, Mahar, Balaji. Yeah? Two shaitans, two groups of shaitan, they're making them. They bring the two friends together, Abzi and Sami together, to say, hey, you know, you got to you gotta prove to us who's the, who's the head of this group gang. So now Sami and Abzi are going to be killing each other because of what? Just to prove who's the biggest man. You know this Imam sub here? Anybody going to come up to me and say, is that Imam people of your group? Mm -hmm. You know, you tell him, you know, you try and knock him out and try and knock him out. <laughs> she didn't happen with the Basjid. You think, you think with that? Why did it happen with drugs? Why? So Allah has said in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ يُوْكِي عَدَيْنَكُمُ الْعَذَابَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ Allah will make you hate one another, the shaitan will be able to do all of that, the shaitan will make enmity between yourself, the shaitan will give each one of you knives, they've got knives with them, what are they got? Knives with them. So the guys show up with their knives, who's got the biggest knife? One day, they're showing knives to each other. One day, they're slashing each other. One day, for five pounds, Five pounds, ten pounds deal that went wrong. They go after each other. Is it true or not? So many cases I've heard. The guy got stabbed for something as silly as ten pounds. Have you heard those stories? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. Hundred pounds. Two, what? Two hundred pounds. What? Five hundred pounds. Nothing. They stabbed each other for five hundred pounds. Why? Because they went with the shaitan. Allah said, okay, you forgot, you forgot me. Now you forget the purpose of life. You forget who you are. I will make you forget where you are. I will make you, make you forget who you are. This is Allah Azzawajal removing his mercy away from his servants. When his servants come to him, Allah Azzawajal comes to them. When his servants move away from him, Allah leaves them to themselves. How far are you going to go? What are you going to do? Whether it's drugs, whether it's street fighting, whether it's bad attitude, and some others, what, what does shaitan do? Shaitan doesn't put them on drugs, what does he do? He gives them the MTV life. You know the MTV life? You know the MTV life? Bollywood life, rap life, and all the other one life. What that life is? The life is, you know, the Tambrata, yeah, the Tambrata, they have some odd names. They have the most thinking, they have all the PDD, and uh, I don't know, some doggy, I don't know, some, what was what the name? What tell me? Snoop Dogg. See? That is Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Cool himself Kutta. <laughs> cool himself Kutta. And he thinks he's the battle of the Kutta. And then some other guy gives him like, some silly name, whatever. And then these guys, what do they do? They, they are the ones who show you with all the chains and things and, you know, they're a 
In his thirties, he plays once a week and the guy is in pain. Yes or no guys, come tell me. Those of you who reach thirties, can you play like you were in your twenties? You can't. You can't. Guys, what do you guys do? You're going to hit your thirties in a little while. You're going to hit your thirties in a little while. The guy is twenty, I remember when I was in one school working there, there's a flight of steps, about forty something steps to go up here to the top of the, of the building. So you had to walk, you know, steep stairs, you had to go up. So when I got up of the stairs, I was about 26 years old then, I got up to the top of the stairs. Then another the PE teacher, he came. And the PE teacher, he's well nice and fit. He comes and goes, <coughs> gets up and he's sweating and he gets up. He just gave a lesson of PE and he walked up the stairs. I said, well, you looking tired. He said to me, he goes, how old are you? I said, 26. He said, as soon as you reach 30, you feel it. He said, you reach 30, you feel it. If you woke up this day at 30, you feel it. I thought, what's it talking about? What's it talking about 30? Is she peeing on the holy chair? So what happened is when 30 came, when 30 came, and after I passed on 30, that man's words are ringing in my head. I'm feeling it now as well. Your body's not the same. The power is not the same. Slowly, slowly going down. And your strength that you have, Going down. Even, you know, you know you see guys with pop police. You know pop police? You know police? In 20, they say, Aftam Murukhai Dada Ki Chuti Nai. Whole chicken, massive chicken with salad on side, with kebab roll and everything, stops in one go, yeah? He doesn't get his stomach. And the guy at 40, he just has a bit of bun, a bit of rice, and his belly is popping out, sticking out. You think why? It's not the guy eating too much, he's not eating too much, he's still cutting down. But it's still the why? Because the digestive system is not the same, it's slower. All you guys, young guys, your digestive system will get slower, your muscles are going to get weaker. And your body before, if you had a cold, you had a cold, you just, I don't need to go to doctors. <laughs> when you get to a certain age, yeah, you'll be visiting the doctor more than you're visiting your wife. <laughs> they die, man, give me a <laughs> give me pill, <laughs> give me this. It comes an age of 70, whatever, the guys used to go and see the doctors every day. Yeah? Why? Because this machine can't last forever. So before the machine finishes, you come and you make sure that you are, have made it to Allah. Well, how do you make it to well, Allah? Brothers, now, in the last few minutes before Madhu Salah. No, what's the question? No, no, it's 10 past 9. Is it 10 past or is it 8 past? 8 past. In the last, so half an hour, I want to tell you how you get, how you get to know Allah Azza wa Jal. Getting to know Allah Azza wa Jal is very, very easy. Very, very easy. Getting to know Allah Azza wa Jal is taking His name. The more you take His name, slowly, slowly, slowly love will descend on your heart. If you want the love of anything in this world, you have to just start, start being there. Seriously, you being there. You know guy who sells fish in the market? The guy who sells fish in the market can't smell the smell in the marketplace. He sells fish, he can't smell the bad smell of the fresh fish. He can't. If you and me go there, we have to say, ah, oh, myself won't go there. He's selling a fish. I don't, want to, I don't want this to get on myself there. Yeah? But the guy who's been there, he can't smell it. Whatever you put yourself into, you can't smell it. The guy who is in any profession, he can't see what's going on. But when you go there, you suddenly see it. A guy who paints, a guy who paints, you can smell the strong smell of paint. That guy is used to it. It's paint. A woman who's cooking curry, she can't smell it. She's just cooking, 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 she can't smell it. But when she comes out, yeah, man, you need to go for a woman, you need to go for a bath. Yeah? <laughs> go and have a bath. I can smell the onion burning, right? Anywhere you go, anything you do, once you get used to, you can't, you can't find it. The more deeply you go inside there, you don't even realize. With Allah Azza wa Jal, the same as on this side of whatever we sing, with Allah Azza wa Jal, the more you do, the more used to you get it. For example, let me give an example. If a man goes to do some training in a gym, if a guy goes to, to do training in the gym, the first time he goes to the gym, after one hour he's going to be flat. Forget one hour, after 30 minutes the guy's flat. The guy's finished. The guy says, look, man, I see man, I see not man, get me out of here. Yeah? After you give him everything, now he goes for 30 minutes, and slowly, slowly he gets used to it, he gets used to the gym life. When he gets used to the gym life, 
that he's got, he knows, his trainer tells him, you've got to spend an hour, then two hours, weekly, religiously in Tawajib. Then after a while he's got to spend about two, four hours in the gym. spend two hours a day, two hours a day. It's religiously they'll be out. When they go there, time flies. Yes or no, come on, tell me. When you're in the gym, and when you're training, and when you're in there and you're sweating, the sweat is nothing. Time flies. They don't even realize how fast it's gone. A guy who goes to play football, they can't even they can't even understand how fast this time goes. Guys who play by green ten they can't understand. The same way the, the people who do the zikr of Allah, people who do the zikr of Allah, they can't understand how did Allah make this make this time go so quickly. They can't understand that. So my brother, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you to, to, to get close to Allah Azawajal, to get closer to Allah Azawajal, you need to start making yourself come towards Allah with the right heart. And the right heart is that you start to make the zikr of Allah Azawajal and you put your mind to it. And when you put your mind to it and you do it again and again and again, then Allah becomes lovable. The dunya automatically, the love of the dunya starts to decrease. The love of the dunya starts to decrease. When a person comes to Allah and he takes take his mention, Allah sends his mercies on him. Allah sends his mercies on him. When a person gets close to Allah, what does Allah do? Allah sends his angels towards him. When a person is in with Allah, Allah's mercies, Allah's angels, Allah's rahmah, Allah's barakah comes, the blessing comes to the person. That's it. And when a person gets close to Allah, Allah makes him find the sweetness of halal again. Sweetness of halal, you have to do zikr. Without zikr, you don't have the sweetness of halal. So, when you take Allah's name, you have to take Allah's name with a heart that starts to yearn Allah. And Allah has given everybody a voice. Brother, Allah has given everybody a voice. Allah doesn't look at your voice, he looks at what you're saying. Allah looks at your heart, what you're saying. So, when you, when you start, when you want to get to know Allah, I'm asking you all you brothers, please, whichever state you are in, you will find the love of Allah, you will find the love of the deen, you will find the love of the religion when you start to take Allah's name again and again and again. I'm asking you go home, sit down quietly on your musalla and start to ask Allah, ask Allah, ask Allah, talk about Allah, remember Allah, remember Allah. Slowly so that Allah will remove the darkness from your mind. From my mind Allah will remove the darkness. From my heart Allah will remove the darkness. The sins will start to move away. Sins automatically are gone with the dhikr. Zikr will destroy sin. Zikr will destroy us getting close to close to the dunya, it will destroy all So Ya Allah Ya Rahman Ya Allah Ya Rahman يا ملك يا الله يا حي يا قيوم. When you take Allah's name, take it with whatever sweetness you got in yourself, and you say Allah's name, sir. Allah, 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 There is a young toddler in a marketplace. A young toddler in the marketplace. And the young toddler is holding his mother's hand. And then he sees so many people around him. And the bustling market, the busy market, the toddler suddenly lets go of the mother's hand and then suddenly the toddler is lost. The mother has been separated from the child. When the child has been separated, all the child knows to say, Amma, 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 Amma. The child is saying, Mummy, 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 Mummy. Oh mother, oh mother, oh mother, stop crying. When a servant of Allah has been separated from his purpose of life, 
The only thing you can do, my brother, is to now call Allah like that toddler that is lost. See yourself as a toddler that is lost. And when you start to come to Allah and say, Allah, 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 You take Allah's name, then you say the best zikr of Allah is the best zikr is like La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله ورد من لا إله إلا الله 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 there is nothing that is in existence that is worthy of being praised except for you, O Allah. لا إله إلا الله there is nothing that will help me except for you, O Allah. My mother will die, my father will die, my wife will die, my children will die, my whole business will come after me to other hands, my house will be not mine after I go to my grave. The only thing I will have on the day of judgment are the actions that I've done for you. La ilaha illallah wa Allah. You are the only one that is not Maksud. Everyone will die of being the darkness of the grave. The only one that I have is you, O Allah. At that time I want you, O Allah. La ilaha illallah. I realize that I am in darkness. I have forgotten you, O Allah. Do not forget me. O Allah, I have left you away. O Allah, do not lead me to myself. La ilaha illallah, O Allah, I only hear yourself. La ilaha illallah, O Allah, I want you, only want you. La ilaha illallah, on the day of judgment, when everyone will be naked on the day of judgment, they will be uncircumcised, they will be barefoot. At that time, I want only you, O Allah, you will only help me. La ilaha illallah, O Allah, when people will be thrown into hellfire, no one can help me, not my father, not my mother. Not my gang, not my colleagues, not my friends, no one who was, who was with me. Everybody is helpless on the day of Jazmillah. You are the one. Why minkum illa wa yuduha. Every single person will come to hellfire. And you will only take from them to Jannah, whoever you will. Everyone will have to pass by hellfire. And Allah will take from them to Jannah, whoever he will. He will. La ilaha illallah, only you can give me Jannah. La ilaha illallah, only you are the one of source of my life. La ilaha illallah, the clothes that I've got are only from you. La ilaha illallah, the shelter I have from you. La ilaha illallah, the body I have is from you, O Allah. O I want you, O Allah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. When you can't say that and you start thinking of Allah, 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 then you start coming close to Allah. What happens after a while? The person finds that the, the sins that he's doing becomes distasteful. Now your sweetness will be in halal. The sweetness of haram will go away automatically through the wicked. And I guarantee you this brother, whoever will do this dua, whoever will make zikr of Allah, whoever will sit there and say subhanallah, whoever will say la ilaha illa anta subhanaka illi kuntu min al-barimi. Wa illa, la ilaha illa anta subhanaka illi kuntu min al-barimi. Wallah, there is no one, no one else that is worthy of worship except for you. Subhanak, you are the one who is free from all blame. I am the one who has wronged himself. You have to say this to Allah. I am the one who has wronged himself. Astaghfirullah al-lazhi la ilaha illa hu. Al-hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayhi. 
I seek forgiveness from Allah and I return back to Him. The one who keeps everything going, the one who is everything to Allah, I return back to you. And Sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi Sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi Send your salutation, send your blessing, send your peace unto Mawla, unto the Lion, unto the person who is the Sayyidul Awwaleen or Al-Akhirin, unto the one who will be the leader of the people of the world and the leader of the people of the next world of the Day of Judgment. Allah, send blessings and send your barakah, send your blessings, send your peace, send salutations on that one. Who will be on the day of judgment and who will, whose intercession will be accepted? Allah send it on him, his son, and all his companions. When you say this, every time you say this, Allah sends you ten messages. Every time you say it, Allah gives you ten messages. Every time you say it, Allah gives you ten messages. Each time you say it, Allah gives you that. And what happens after that? Slowly, slowly, Allah does what? يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى Allah takes you out of darkness and Allah puts you into light. Allah will make no sins will be distasteful to you now. You will now come to the right path and you have pity of a boy who act with an attitude, who swear with great promises, who talk rudely, who walk rudely, you have a problem. Why? Because now you want to find out about the Sahaba of your life. Now you want to read about the Sura, now you want to learn about the Quran, now you want to learn about the Hadith. There are many brothers who turn to the religion. Why? Because their heart soften up. The soft heart is something, if you want to create that, it's too big. Too big. I'm asking you brothers, I'm asking you please go home and cry to Allah to your brothers. Go to Allah. Go I'll go to Allah. Fatir who is Allah. Allah says, run to Allah before it's too late. Run to Allah. Because there's a moment, Allah says what? Inna ila rabbika al-muntaha. The final part you got of your life, the final moment is back to me anyway. The final thing is going to be final destination with Allah. Final destination is with Allah. Allah. You can't run away from me. You can't run away from me. Your mother, your father, all your gang members, all the people with streets, all you come to the masjid, all the people you know in your life, everybody is going to be back to Allah. There is no escape from me. And when it comes to Allah, Allah will judge everyone differently. So do something today for the investment of the next life, this is the purpose of life, that we are here, Allah says, Umar khalaq fil jinn wa insa illa liya'budun. The only reason why I created mankind, the only reason why I created jinn, is that they start to serve me and not serve the shaitan. If you serve the shaitan, Allah says, Allah says, Allah will remind us on the day of judgment. Alam ahadi bilaykum ya dhani adama alla ta'budu shaitan. Didn't I tell you, oh, son of the Adam, didn't I tell you that you shouldn't be in the service of the shaitan? You shouldn't be in the service of the shaitan. You do, you walk out of me, you're in the service of the shaitan. You start disobeying your parents, you're in the service of the shaitan. You start to act rudely, you're in the service of the shaitan. You go into drugs, you're in the service of the shaitan. The shaitan hooked you. Onto drugs, onto sin, he booked you. And with the angels, he booked you. And in hellfire, you will have you cooked inside there. You'll have you cooked inside there. You start with sin, then you get booked, and then you get cooked. Allah Azzawajal, if you go with him, Allah says, Wallahu yadu'u ila dari salam. You come to me, you come to the abode of peace. Allah gives you peace. Allah will give you peace in heart. Allah will give you peace in your life. Allah will give you peace with the people around you. Allah will make you feel tranquil. Allah will give you blessings. Allah will give you hidayah and guidance. Allah will make you love Him and His messenger. And when you die, you got no more worries. Allah inna uliya Allahi ma khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahdanun. Those who have become close to me, they have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear after they die. You got no more worries, no more worries. The moment you die, Allah says, Nuzulan min ghafoorir rahim. You are now my guest and I am your host in the next life. 
I am, I will become your host, I will look after you in the next life. What have you got to worry about? Allah says, Ma. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Ma yafalu Allah bi adadikum in shakarutum wa amantum. Why is Allah would I want to punish you if you start to be thankful to me, if you start to do the right thing for me? You know, in Bengali, typical Bengali house, in a typical Bengali house, they say to you, if you don't pray, you're going to help us. If you carry on saying that to a kid, if you don't pray, you're going to help us. If you don't pray, you're going to help us. If you don't pray, you're going to help us. So he says, okay, prayer is just to save yourself from help us. Prayer is just to save yourself from help us. He attributes a negative thing with the prayer. That's not right. You should say that, fine, but you should add to that. If you pray, Allah's, Allah's help will be with you. Yeah, Allah says, you help. I will help you. You pray, I will help you. If you, the thing you should say to us is, Namadiya for me, Allah is the shaykh of Allah. Go and pray, Allah will help you. Please change this in your house. In your house, you have no money for the other. Bora gele, by chedro khayba, namazro lagi namazro khayba. Namaz ko Allah shayj jo hamda, Allah ko isir khayba shayj jo hamda. Duzo ha, duzo ha khay, duzo ko mata ishu ho nahi dar. Aur jo mein hai duzo ya, namaz ko duzo, 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 duzo khayba aap sab kya namaz ko? That's not the only reason why you pray. There's so many good things you pray. You pray because because Allah Azza wa Jal will make you will make you become a person long gone on this earth. You pray, Allah will put barakah and blessings in your business. You pray, Allah, Allah will make you have a good life in the grave. You pray, Allah will love you on the day of judgment. And Allah will, Allah will honor you on the day of judgment. You pray, Allah will put you on the throne on the day of judgment. You pray, Allah will take you to Jannah on the day of judgment. You pray, you've got the dunya, you've got the akhirah, you've got this world, you've got the next world. You pray, you're a loving person to others, others will love you. That's what prayer is. Prayer is not just negative things. Prayer is positive, positive. The deen is positive. You come to the deen, Allah will make you a person. Well, where, is, where is dignity now? Dignity is not on the street. I said to you earlier, وَلِلَّهِ عَاقِدَةِ الْمُورِ Dignity is in the final stage. If you, Allah says in the Quran, فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَاسِ Whoever has saved himself from hellfire, whoever has saved himself from hellfire, and who has uh, hasn't been able to go to Jannah, but other fans, this person has become a successful person. Anyway, we're going to make a dua now. Will we publish the dua to the Adam or not? No, I'm not kidding. Make an answer. Will you make an answer? I'm going to give up. Excuse me, sir. I want everyone to take my uh, salah. We have a uh, food inshallah to be served after the salah inshallah. So I request everyone to stay behind and uh, participate on the food. And uh, also, one uh, shall be waiting to answer your question after the salah. Uh, also, our next uh, next month uh, topic is uh, the greatness of Ramadan. Mufti Abdurrahman Mangera will be with us inshallah on the 23rd of June. That Sunday is 23rd of June. Inshallah, also after my this sheet this sheet will be going around. I want you to fill that in. So what we can do is we contact you, uh, take the details down and contact you uh, regarding our next uh, uh, lecture, Inshallah. So if everyone can fill it in, just your name and your email address or phone number. Thank you. <coughs> Agam tuh yang ni, yang mereka aku nanti. Satu dua, satu aja. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam Muhammad, ala alihi wasallam. اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلاة تنجينا بها من جميع الأحوال والآفات وتقضي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها أعلى الدرجات 
من جميع الخيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تصل من القصرنا لنكون من الخاسرين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار سيد الحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا Oh Allah, O oh Master, O oh close one, O oh one who knows the secrets of our hearts. O oh Allah, we ate your food. O oh Allah, we drank from the water that you gave. O oh Allah, we wore the clothes that you've given us. O oh Allah, we are in such comfort. O oh Allah, in the comfort that we are in. O oh Allah, in that comfort we have forgotten yourself. We are asking you to make us not forget ourselves. Oh Allah, we ask you that you turn us to your to your way, you make us be people who come closer to yourself. Oh Allah, make us of those who will follow the footsteps of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh Allah, oh Mawla, how much, how many things have we committed in our lives, oh Allah? We come to your door as beggars who are asking for you to forgive us. Oh Allah, we watch your enemies walk away from your door full-handed. And there are enemies and there are people who have, who, who are against you, Mawla. But oh Allah, we are believers, we are those who have hearts, so oh Allah, we ask you to increase our Iman. Oh Allah, we ask you to fill our hearts with your love and we ask you to fill our bodies with actions that you are pleased with. Oh Allah, give us knowledge that is beneficial for us. Oh Allah, we ask you to guide us, to protect us, to protect our children, to protect our young ones. O oh Allah, protect those who are elders amongst us. O oh Allah, we ask you to accept this masjid, and O oh Allah, through this masjid, O oh Allah, we ask you to give the whole locality guidance. O oh oh Allah, we ask you, O oh Allah, all the brothers and sisters who have made this, made this event. O oh Allah, we ask you to raise the stages. O oh Allah, we ask you, if there's anyone of us who has got any need or desire in our hearts, O oh Allah, that is lawful, we ask you to fulfill our desire. O oh Allah, all those children who are taking their exams, O oh Allah, make them successful in their exams. O oh Allah, if there is anyone who is close to us and who we want to be cured, O oh Allah, we ask you to give them cure from your bounty of cure. O oh Allah, la shifa, illa shifa, no one can cure except for yourself. O oh Allah, we ask you, O oh anyone who is here who has got death, O oh Allah, give them the ability to clear up their death. Oh Allah, if there is a young brother here who needs to get married, oh Allah, we ask you to find him the best spouse. Oh Allah, if there is a person who is married and who has children, oh Allah, make give blessing to their children. Oh Allah, if they don't have children, oh Allah, grant them children that will be the coolness of their eyes. Oh Allah, if they have children and the children have gone off path, oh Allah, bring them onto the path. Oh Allah, we ask him, oh Allah, if you have businesses, we ask you to work for in our businesses. Oh Allah, we ask you, Allah, that we do not know how you will accept our du'as. We ask you, Allah, that you accept our du'as and all the people who have passed away before us. Oh Allah, if one of our parents is alive, oh Allah, if one of them is alive, or both of them are alive. Oh Allah, let us be able to do their khidmah, let us be able to do and be in the service. Oh Allah, if one of our parents or both of our parents have gone away from this earth, then Mawla Arhamur Rahim, most merciful of those who have mercy, our parents are waiting on the other side for us to make dua for them. Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Mawla, oh Allah, just before the Maghrib of the Ham, oh Allah, we raise our hands, oh Allah, we ask you that you place out the souls of our parents in early years. Oh Allah, our, our father-in-laws, our mother-in-laws, our grandparents, our uncles, our aunties, those of them who have passed away, those of them that used to love us when we were small. Oh Allah, we ask you that you give them the highest of those in the next life. Oh Allah, give them the jannah to those. Oh Allah, we ask you on the day of judgment, make them meet our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Together with us, oh Allah, let us receive our books in our right hands. Make our, make our scales weight on the day of judgment with good things. O oh Allah, when we stand in front of you, O oh Allah, be happy with us and let us be happy with you. O oh Allah, take us with the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam straight to Jannah. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, we ask you to save us from hellfire. O Rabbana, la tu'akhidna in nasina awakwa'na. O Rabbana, wa la tahmin alayna islam kama hamindamu ala alladhina min qablina. 
ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه المعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين